Barcelona against Atletico Madrid. I'm Peter Drury and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Begley. Hi Peter, always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Well, I would think Diego Godin is key defensively. Uh, his brilliant reading of, of danger is, is his real strength and his timing of the tackle isn't far behind. And another centre-back who'll, who'll pop up on a set piece and grab a goal for you. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Now it's Torres. Firmly met. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Oh, that's neat. Well, without the support, he had to avoid crossing that, but he just didn't have the patience. Juan Fran. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. It makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. Is it in? Good, strong hand by the keeper. He's done very well to get to that. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. Oh, he's come flying in. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. And it's Juanfran. Gabi. It's a loose ball. Belts one. And that will sail harmlessly past. Well, there wasn't much on for him, so it was worth a shot. It was worth a try from there. Looks like a good ball through. Away from immediate danger. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Koke. And if anyone is going to break the deadlock, now would be a good time. Fernando Torres has been caught there, it's a foul. Clears it out of harm's way. Godin. Gabi. Griezmann. Looks to slip it through. Good clearance and very necessary. Has gone out. Griezmann. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Boon forward. Oh, that had to be more accurate. And the whistle goes for half-time. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? 
Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. Well, after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. Ghana can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. Deftly done. Defence has got rid of that. Hoists it high. Nice little flick. Big chance! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. Yeah, the ball in there was simply superb. He won't be too happy that it's gone to waste like that. Thiago pumps it forwards tries a through ball Koke Thiago and it's Gavi good defending he knew he had to stop it right there Griezmann Goes long. A long ball, but not especially accurate. Thiago. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Jimenez. And it's Gavi. Gabby. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Griezmann, can he get through? Griezmann with the ball through. They've managed to get it away. It'll be a throw in. Juan Fran and it's Fernando Torres Griezmann dinks one in and out to safety and the defence can get it clear oh extraordinary is one in it's a brilliant interception header 
No, not the best of headers. Jimenez. Four extra minutes added on. Thiago. Jimenez. Gabi. Torres gets it back. There is the final whistle. Uh, frustrating game for attack.